Okay, here we go. Testing one, two, three, check it out. Look what I got. I got one of those fancy wireless lav mics. The only downside with this is that it's like this ugly square block. So I don't like how other people use it online. They like put it on their collar and whatever, and it looks just really terrible. So that's what this little mic is right here. I have upgraded finally, and I have a little bit of movement. I can kind of talk back here if I really wanted to. Of course, that doesn't really look very good, but I'm pretty excited. Whenever I get new tech, I'm always excited about it. Today, I just wanted to talk about comic books that have really inspired me along this journey that I've been taking in, in making my own comic book. And then also I wanted to show you some really cool updates. So I'll show you the updates first. So let's go ahead and take a look at where the comic is at this very moment. All right, so these are all of the pages that I have so far sketched out. I'm on page 39 right now, so if you click on that, it's a little messy, but there's a big explosion in the sky, and look who sees it. It's Rin. So if you don't know who my characters are, Rin is one of the cosmic casuals, and we can finally see him get into the fight. And you didn't really see him at all. You saw him very briefly at the beginning of the story. So I'm on page 39 right now. I'm at the part of the comic where I finally caught up with the webtoon. So now I'm in uncharted territory and I have to kind of start from the thumbnail stage from this point onward. So these are some sketches that I think I've had really fun doing. Here's the fight scene between Ingrid and Benson number two. So we have this little exchange of blasts. Well, not really an exchange, but Ingrid shoots her plasma cannon and Benson blocks it. This is also a really cool page that I had a lot of fun doing. Ingrid gets thrown into the ground. Benson number two kind of dives down and lands on her back in this epic cracking moment. So those are basically places where I have left off in the web comic. So we're at the third act right now and, and we're starting to get to the climax of the story. Um, so I'm very excited, we're, we're coming close. So I wanted to show you these comics right here. And these comics have been such a good inspiration as I've been on this journey as a comic book artist. Um, they're not so much books that I study and kind of learn from, even though there is some of that happening subconsciously. I don't know if you have those books that you that you just always just like looking at whenever you aren't feeling as inspired, but these books are definitely the ones that just help push me to keep going. So this is more of an artist, but these are two of his books. So this is Transformers and this is Beta Ray Bill, and these are done by Daniel Warren Johnson. So Daniel Warren Johnson, he's been around for a couple of years now, but I feel like it seems like that his rise to popularity has skyrocketed rocketed in the past like two or three years. And if you take a look at Transformers, which I think that this is probably my favorite comic that I've read in 2024, but if you look at his artwork, his artwork is just so energetic. There's so much power and energy when a robot like hits something or slaps something or lands on the ground you really feel the impact in that drawing and there's there's a lot of manga influences that daniel warren johnson has uh, like the speed lines he doesn't just draw someone being punched he also draws that moment before that character gets punched to build up anticipation for that amazing action. This is also the other comic. This is Beta Ray Bill. This is a Marvel comic that he did. This is a one-shot story. It's a really cool, fun short story. And I think that you guys, if, if you're really into action, there's so much fun stuff happening. Um, so much action once again, like look at this. This is like some, some cool stuff happening on the page. So Daniel Warren Johnson has definitely been a very big influence to me. This is another one of those comics that I'm really inspired by while I'm working. This is Ultra Mega by James Heron. So James Heron is kind of like the forefather of Daniel Warren Johnson. I think he studies James Heron's work. So you're gonna find a lot of similarities between how things are, are drawn. I will so say though, as a parent myself, this 
you know, parents out there, this is kind of not for children. It's pretty, pretty violent. And honestly, I, I'm not a big fan of gore or super violence myself, but I do like the art. I love the line art that James Heron provides. Like this is such an epic moment in the story and it, how the lines are drawn and the energy that comes from the line work. It's just such a hard thing to create. This is another panel as well. Just look at how all the panels work together and the colors. I, and I know he's not in charge of the colors, but I think that this is like so cool. Just the environment too. If you look at this gas station, it's drawn so well. I just love it. I love his art so much. Now let's get into manga. So I know some of you guys have heard of Akira, but this is done by Katsuhiro Otomo and Otomo is such an amazing artist. So his art is like really amazing. His backgrounds are so cool. If you look at this background right here, it's just such an amazing, like the perspective is working really well and, and it really does, each panel really does feel like you're stepping into the world. It doesn't feel like a 2D page. It feels like a, there's a window right here that you're just looking through. And, and of course his figure are, are really well drawn. I love how he uses like screen tones. Look at these action lines. Look at that. That is just some really cool stuff. So again, this is another one of those comics that I just look at and I, I feel better. I just feel inspired to just keep working because I don't think I'll ever be at this level, but it tells me that a level like this is attainable in some sort of way. So I may not be this good, but I might come close and that honestly is enough drive to keep me going. This is one of those, those books that I really, really love. Really, really love to look at. So some of you probably already know this. This is Nausicaa by Miyazaki. But yeah, this is all drawn by Miyazaki, the same guy who made uh, My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away. And it's a beautiful book. I love his line art. It feels like he didn't use any rulers at all. It feels like he just freehanded everything. I love the cross hatching here. The cross hatching is, is the one that, that I notice the most whenever I, I take a look at this book. And just the imaginative world and the costume design, it's so inspiring. So I kind of just trailed off in thought right here. So I'm going to take this into the future where I can clear up what I'm trying to say. Okay, so editing Tim here, and I just wanted to complete my thoughts, and I wanted to encourage you guys to pick up a comic book, um, especially if you are on your comic making journey. And that may sound like a no dust statement, but you've got to be able to learn the craft by learning it from the people who have done it before you. And don't think of comics as strictly a superhero filled landscape, which it kind of is, but there are so many different genres within the comic book umbrella. Don't think of comics as its own special literature. While it is special to me, it is just like any other form of literature. So you're gonna have so many different genres. You're, there are historical genres, there are autobiographical genres or memoirs, there's fantasy, there is sci-fi, there's so many different kinds of fiction. Go to your local comic book shop, and, and yeah, it's a little bit scary, but go to one and, and, and see what you can find because there's been times where I wasn't looking for a superhero comic book. I was just looking for something different. And I stumbled upon like a cool looking cover or really cool looking interior art. Or maybe I, I read like two pages of a story that I really liked and, and I just bought it there on the spot. So read comics guys. It's, it's going to really help you out on your journey and it's gonna help inspire you because I know that it has done it for me.